On behalf of the Board of Regents, it is our pleasure to welcome each of you to today's inauguration of Dr. Patrice Caldwell as our 11th president, our first female president of Eastern New Mexico University. The selection of a university president is the most important decision that is made by a university board and typically one that only time will tell whether or not the selection process was successful. However, in the case of Dr. Caldwell, the university has had nearly 40 years to observe and evaluate this amazing and immensely talented and dedicated lady as she unselfishly served the university and the Portales community. Dr. Caldwell began her career at NMU as an assistant professor and later served as a department chair, then elevated to dean. In 1998, she moved into an administrative role in the planning and analysis area and in 2018, she was elevated to the role of Vice President for Planning, Analysis, and Governmental Relations, in addition to serving as Chief of Staff. Dr. Caldwell's contributions to ENMU go well beyond the Portales campus. Since 1997, she has volunteered her time to the University Friends of Music Board and has been their president for many of these years. In addition, she is an active member of the United Way of Eastern New Mexico and volunteers with the Portales Meals on Wheels program and the Habitat for Humanity. Dr. Caldwell has long supported the initiatives of the ENMU Alumni Association and in 2018 was presented with an honorary lifetime award for contributions to the association. I would be remiss if I did not mention that, as a close friend of Dr. Caldwell reminded me, for decades, Dr. Caldwell has been the guiding light for it. ENMU's Jack Williamson Lectureship, one of the longest-running lectureships in higher education that honors our beloved professor and world-renowned author. The office of the president is not new territory for Dr. Caldwell. She has worked for and beside the past six presidents of ENMU. When approached by the board to inquire whether she would consider delaying her planned retirement and serving as her next president, Dr. Caldwell responded, by saying it would be an honor to serve ENMU. Do we all agree that for the past 10 months we have experienced changes to our personal and professional lives that we could not have imagined of just a few short years ago? The pandemic and resulting financial pressures we face require a strong, flexible leader to help ENMU survive and ultimately thrive. The Board of Regents believe that Dr. Caldwell is the right person at the right time to take the helm of ENMU and help guide our university through these very unusual and challenging times. I can't think of a person who demonstrates more compassion, integrity, wisdom, and institutional knowledge and better prepared to lead our talented faculty, dedicated staff, and amazing students to achieve our most important goal which is do everything we can to ensure the success of every single student on all three of ENMU's campuses. It is truly an honor for me, as President of the Board of Regents, to confer the Presidential Medallion to Dr. Caldwell as a symbol of her presidential authority and a pledge of confidence by the Board of Regents. Congratulations, Dr. Caldwell. Thank you, Regent Othick. And welcome, Regents of the University, distinguished guests, administrators, faculty, staff, students, alumni, benefactors, and friends of Eastern New Mexico University. I am honored and humbled to accept the position of Chancellor of the ENMU System and President of the Portales Campus that for 86 years has shaped a legacy of excellence for our students and community. To Mr. Terry Othick, Chair, and members of ENMU Board of Regents, Dr. Dan Patterson, Mr. Ed Tatum, Mr. Lance Pyle, and Mr. Joseph Gergel, I thank you for your guidance, encouragement, and the trust you have placed in me. To Eastern's distinguished former presidents, in particular, Drs. Robert Matheny, Everett Frost, and Stephen Gamble, I thank you for the example you have set for me and this institution. ENMU can do no better than to build our future on the solid foundation of your wisdom and leadership. And I also thank ENMU's administrative team, Vice Presidents Jamie Lorenz, Jeff Long, Scott Smart, and Clark Ellswick, who have steadfastly piloted our institution through some challenging times 
and supported me personally and professionally. Sincere thanks, too, to my ENMU colleagues and former students whose innovation, dedication, and generous commitment to education have kept me in love with teaching and learning for over 40 years. And finally, to those organizing this inauguration, please let me thank you for keeping the celebration Eastern-sized, attentive to tradition, modest, yet with quiet flair. Today, ENMU and higher education face significant challenges. Recovering from COVID-19, expanding access to higher education for our citizens, providing students with skills and the degrees urgently needed by our workforce, and the need to answer diminished state appropriations with greater efficiencies and new and creative strategies. Our plan going forward is, I hope, one you will recognize for its common sense and continuity. It begins with the ENMU system. Always strong friends, the campuses of Portellis, Roswell, and Rudoso must become even better allies and innovators in the creation and delivery of programs for our region and beyond. We must capitalize on what each campus does well, build partnerships, share innovations, and stay true to that ENMU commitment to student success that animates all of us. It is sustained by continuity with innovation. Our ENMU campuses have weathered economic downturns, budget cuts, and enrollment dips. We have done this by communicating with and seeking the insights and support of the entire campus and system to address the challenges that we will face. We will address them by staying true to our mission, providing the best education possible to our students. Third, because we are proud of who we are and who we serve, we are committed to the quality of the educational experiences we provide to students. That means hiring staff and faculty who value the learning partnership with students, a partnership that defines the system. It means putting our resources into the facilities and services that best address student learning. And it means remembering that we live in a campus community, a New Mexico community, and a global community that will constantly bring us opportunities for learning, growth, and service. In the dark days coming out of the Depression in rural New Mexico, a few brave men and women said yes to an audacious plan to build a college in Portales. Years later, I reaffirm our commitment to their vision. ENMU will keep faith with those community leaders and their vision, and I will do the best job I can to keep your trust as a caring and careful steward for the institution and our students. Thank you. Good morning, Dr. C. This is Bob Matheny. Sandra joins me in expressing our absolute delight that the Regents selected you to lead Eastern through the challenges of the years ahead. I've been observing university presidents for about 60 years, and I'm convinced that you have the most comprehensive experience and qualifications of anyone I have known. You are without doubt the right person for such a complicated job. We congratulate you and wish you every success in moving Eastern forward. So relax and have some fun. We'll see you later, Chancellor. And remember, wear your mask and wash your hands. Go Greyhounds. Patrice, I'm here to uh, congratulate you on being named uh, ENMU's 11th president slash chancellor, well-deserved honor. Uh, you've dedicated many, many years to Eastern New Mexico University and certainly have done a wonderful job in that role. Um, I look forward to working with you over the next uh, 18, 19 months as the two of us round out our careers here at Eastern. And uh, whatever I can do to assist you, please don't hesitate, hesitate to call me. And uh, again, congratulations. I met Patrice Caldwell 29 years ago at the MLA in San Francisco.
It, I was a nervous PhD at my interview for jobs, and between Candido Tafoya's warmth and Patrice's graciousness, I just felt right at home that ENMU would be a great place for me. Soon after I got here as a junior faculty member, Patrice was one of the people who really encouraged me by introducing me to such opportunities as uh, ENMU's representative for AAUW, both here and at the state. I joined the Pew Leadership Team, the Teaching Learning Technology Roundtable, and the Williamson Lectureship. All of these things prepared me for leadership. I know that Dr. Caldwell was looking forward to a nice, comfortable retirement, and instead, she got to be president of the university during a pandemic. But I also know that she encourages and taps into the leadership that already exists in this wonderful community, and she will continue to do so as she takes on this role. Congratulations, Dr. Caldwell. Let me associate myself with these words of congratulations to Eastern's own Patrice Caldwell. Some people attain leadership out of hard work and ambition, but others, like President Caldwell, rise from hard work and a willingness to serve when called. Isn't it good to be needed? Dr. Caldwell, you have our respect, admiration, and thanks for taking on this challenging office at a crucial time in our history. As always, I look forward to working with you to serve the ENMU mission and all its stakeholders. Congratulations and best wishes for your continued success. Dr. Caldwell, congratulations. You are the perfect person to juggle all aspects of the president's office. I look forward to serving with you. Thank you. Dr. Caldwell, on behalf of the professional staff here at Eastern New Mexico University, I'd like to congratulate you on being named the 11th president. Uh, I can't think of a better person to serve in this capacity or any capacity really at this university. There's, I don't think, ever been anyone who has been so dedicated and so knowledgeable about uh, everything here and all things Eastern. So because of your dedication, support, and just love for the student staff and all things Eastern, I know you're going to be great and we look forward to working under your leadership. Dr. Caldwell, congratulations. I am so happy that you are the 11th president of Eastern New Mexico University. You have devoted 40 years of your life to ENMU, and I know that you love our students, you support all of their activities, and you are just the perfect person to be president at this time. I just wish you the very best, uh, I love your friendship, and I really appreciate all that you've done for me personally as a mentor, and you have done this for so many people here at Eastern. We are so happy to have you as our 11th president. Hello, I'm Steve Gamble. I was the ninth president at the uh, ENMU system, and I'm here to give my congratulations uh, to Dr. Uh, Patrice Caldwell, the 11th president, now called chancellor of, uh, of the system. Um, others uh, giving talks like this are going to represent universities or maybe a college within this university or a branch campus or an academic society. I'm just representing myself. Uh, but in, in a way, though, I think I'm representing all of the students, the faculty, staff, alumni, and friends of the Eastern System, because like me, they, they recognize and admire Chancellor Caldwell's work ethic and her integrity. I mean, there is no one that I know that respects and loves Eastern more than Patrice Caldwell. And uh, again, she should know it well. I mean, she spent many, many years at Eastern. Uh, she was a faculty member. She was a, a department chair. She was dean. Uh, she was a senior administrator, and uh, importantly, she was best friend for Jack Williamson, ENMU's most uh, remembered and honored son. Uh, while the system is fortunate to get Dr. Caldwell as a chancellor, I know she knows that she has inherited a really good institution. She's actually inherited three really good institutions. She will have strong support from all. I'm very convinced of that. Uh, people want her to succeed, and she will succeed. And I simply want to wish uh, Chancellor Caldwell well as she leads the ENMU system. These continue to be difficult times, but she is more than equal to the task. I just, in closing, want to say congratulations, Patrice, and good luck. 
Thank you for the opportunity to add my congratulations to the inauguration of Dr. Patrice Caldwell. I applaud the Regent's selection of her as Chancellor of Eastern New Mexico University. Working with Dr. Caldwell is a distinct pleasure. She is the subject matter expert on all things involving our university system. ENMU's future is bright and the system will benefit from Chancellor Caldwell's leadership. Hello, Greyhounds. This is Garnet Stokes, president of the University of New Mexico. And on behalf of the entire Lobo family, I am so honored and excited to be here to celebrate the inauguration of my colleague, Dr. Patrice Caldwell, as the 11th Chancellor of Eastern New Mexico University. Your long and distinguished career is filled with honors and highlights. This is merely the latest and has been defined by excellence, commitment, and empathy. Eastern New Mexico University is so fortunate to have your smart and compassionate leadership, as are all of us throughout the state of New Mexico. It has been my pleasure to work with you on the New Mexico Council of University Presidents, where I so much appreciate the experience and perspective you bring to our group. I'm thrilled that we have the opportunity to continue to work together. All of us here in Lobo Country send you and Eastern New Mexico University our warmest regards. And it is an honor and a privilege to say, congratulations, Chancellor Caldwell. Dr. Caldwell, congratulations on being named the next president and chancellor of Eastern New Mexico State University. My best wishes for a very successful tenure. And let me tell you that you could not have picked a better time to be a president or a chancellor. So good luck to you, and if there's anything I can do, please reach out to me. Again, congratulations. Hi, Patrice, or I guess I should say Chancellor Caldwell, Sam Minner, New Mexico Highlands. I bring you uh, greetings and congratulations from the entire campus. Uh, if there's anything that I or any of my colleagues here at Highlands can do for you as you start this new journey in your professional life, please let me know. But congratulations, they couldn't have made a better choice, Patrice. Chancellor Caldwell, you've been a steady presence at Eastern New Mexico University since you began there in 1980 as an assistant professor of English composition. And as you rose through the administrative ranks, your persistence, diligence, and humor led to success in postings ranging from the Dean of the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences to Provost, and ultimately to the Chief of Staff for the University. I'm certain that the skills and insights that you've mastered along the way will help you successfully lead the Greyhounds both now and in the future. So on behalf of the faculty, staff, and students at New Mexico Tech, congratulations, Chancellor Caldwell. And I look forward to working with you in our shared effort to improve higher education in the state of New Mexico. Hello to the Greyhound community. I'm Rick Bailey, president at Northern New Mexico College. And we just wanted to take a moment to say a heartfelt congratulations to Chancellor Caldwell. It is absolutely an honor and a privilege to call you a colleague and a friend. All of us at Northern, our students, our faculty, and our staff are at your service now and always. We look forward to your benevolent reign. Congratulations, Chancellor Caldwell. I'm Sandy Woodley, president of University of Texas Permian Basin. Today I'm here to enthusiastically offer a deep congratulations to Dr. Caldwell on becoming the 11th president of Eastern New Mexico University. Now, I know how big a job that is, and I am confident, Patrice, that you're gonna be a wonderful leader in your community with so much wonderful work ahead of you. Please know that the University of Texas Permian Basin is here to support you and to collaborate in any way that can be helpful as you fulfill all of the important work for your community. Patrice, may your tenure as president be filled with joy and success and impact. Congratulations. Hi, Patrice. As you know, I'm Corinne Faiton, Chancellor and President of Texas Women's University. And we have campuses in Denton, Dallas, and Houston, Texas. I have already had the pleasure of working with you, Dr. Caldwell, in the Lone Star Conference. And um, as you know, we have navigated the challenges of keeping our student athletes safe while at the same time helping encourage their dreams and aspirations, which has not been easy, but it is a work that brings me joy. And I hope you too find joy in your new role amidst the challenges that we all face right now in higher education. 
And given your impressive tenure at Eastern New Mexico, you already know that lasting joy comes from the people you serve, working together in your shared mission and vision. So together with my regents, faculty, staff, students, and our more than 100,000 living alumni of Texas Women's, we wish you and Eastern all the success in the world. Muchas felicidades.